Hi guys, gonna make another pop pop boat. Found another can, so I'm gonna cut it out, make another boiler from this. I've got some more of that aluminium tubing. So I'll use that, I'll pre-bent it to the general shape I want. And this time I'm gonna use a wooden boat shape. That's just a scrap bit of wood I had out in the garage there that I've cut to the shape of a boat. It's going to be marginal as to whether it's going to float with the weight of the can on it. I think it'll be all right, but we'll find out. So first thing to do, we need to cut this open. I've swilled it out, but we'll find out if there's any uh, wildlife in there. Anything that's grown while it's been chucked in the hedge. Go and give that another wash. And we've got about 20 centimeters available that way. And about 11 centimeters that way. Don't want to be too big, otherwise we're not going to fit on the boat, are we? Fix the boat. That's about six. So if we're going to fold it in to make the seams, if we go seven centimeters and mark in a centimeter on each side, that means our center section is going to be five centimeters. Seven, one, and one. So I'll cut that. I'll just make the lines probably would be a good idea to wear gloves or something. That's going to be our end. Let's see, we've got about 20. We've got a fold a centimetre over. So if we make it, make it 19 long, this is just thinking on my feet as we go in. 19 and then we want a one centimetre fold inside that. So that's going to so 18 and 18 and the middle of 18 would be Sorry, I'm thinking aloud here, really. So that's our midpoint. That's the bit we want to cut off. That's the bit I'm going to fold over. So I'm going to cut up along there. Probably best not to use your mother's best scissors for doing this. These came from Poundland originally. I've been looking to get some more and they haven't had them in at all.
They used to be in packs of three. One big one like this and two small ones. Alright, so we want to fold it along that point. What I'm planning to do is fold that over there, that over there. The double fold would have been neat, wouldn't it? There's a half of that. Fold that over. And fold that over again. Yeah, I think that will do, but I'll put some glue in there, then squeeze it. Something like that. You can probably hear it's raining hard outside. So I'll just show you what I've done. I've cut a couple of gaps there so I can get the pipes in. And then I'll bend this up, either like that. That flat, that over, flat, over and then fill it all with glue all around up in the bathroom just drill two oversized holes and put my pop pop motor engine through the holes rubber bands at the back to hold it in place the question is does it float because I haven't tried it yet right it's floating I nearly forgot to put any water in it i have to pour some down one of the pipes. Sometimes you get the feeling things just don't want to work for you. As soon as it started getting a bit damp and the water soaked into it, it tipped over. So I'm going to cut up this old pizza tray to give it a bit of extra buoyancy. Oh, oh we got movement. Well, I had a disaster just now. I was trying to adjust it and I tipped the whole thing in the water. So the tea lights, everything. If you look at it, it's nearly sinking. piece of wood I've used has just soaked up the water. I've never known wood quite like that before. It's quite literally just soaking the water in and getting heavier. So even with my buoyancy aid around the outside it's still practically under the water. And the tea lights, well, I really need to do another one of my three wick tea lights so we can get the heat in the right place because that one at the back's hardly touching and the two at the front look pretty sad
I think I'm going to have to take that steam engine, or whatever we want to call it, boiler, and stick it in one of the other boats. And put some decent heat I was just going to say, put some decent heat under it. Well, we got a result. We got some noise out of it. Not happy with it at all. Really surprised how that wood has soaked up the water and sunk. Didn't expect that. Yep, yeah, back to the drawing board, I think. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and Enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.